Hey YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Roman and yes, we are back. And this time it's with a quick, quick little video. I wanted to share a clip that went viral online and I could not wait until next week when we do local news at 6.30 a.m. Um, so I wanted to share this clip with you and I'll be right back with my commentary. But before I do that, I wanted to give you some context about what is happening and what you're about to see. In this disturbing video footage, you will see a suspected white supremacist violently threatening a fast food worker over an order dispute. This encounter seems to check all of the boxes for a federal hate crime by way of a threatening lynching in an N-word laced rant. The video filmed at the counter of a Popeye's restaurant was going viral on Sunday and left no doubt about how the white man who starred in the footage really feels about black people. Check this out. No, you want to talk to mother? You for her calling me a fucking cracker? Man, what was you doing? I called her a fucking nigger after she oh, called okay. me a cracker. You have a nice day. Call the cops. Call the cops. And you think I won't? Where's my phone? Uh, call the cops. 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 All you niggers think this is fucking acceptable? Huh? You fucking nigger! What's that? What's that? What's that? You can't call it as much as you want to call it. He can't call me that. He a cracker. Fuck him. He can suck a dick. Just like I told him. You can suck a dick. 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 Cracker. I bet you. I bet you. You can suck a dick. Cracker. I bet you. I'll beat the fuck out. You can suck a dick. Cracker. You can suck a dick. Cracker. And look at what you're acting like. Cracker. Bitch, cracker. You first thing, you fucking cracker. Cracker. Huh? Where's your fucking seven cracker. in the mule, bitch? Cracker. What, you mad? You ain't getting cracker. it? Cracker. Your grandmammy got it, bitch. Yeah, okay. You fat ass cracker. Okay. Okay. Fat ass. Okay. Your chicken, okay. your, chicken cold, your chicken getting cold, fat boy. Your chicken getting cold. Your chicken getting cold, fat boy. So the video was very disturbing and um i was very very shocked by the fact that the man was so upset to the point where he just threw the n-word around so carelessly even amongst being you know all of those black people um but what i found to be so fulfilling so rewarding was the manner in which the black folks in the restaurant reacted the guy said, call the police, and they literally, okay, I'll call the police. They were very calm, cool, and collected. Um, that made me very, very proud because we know, and we, you know, we've all been through these situations, and they could have easily taken this man out, easily taken this man out, fought him, did whatever they could, um, but they chose to do a different thing, and that remind me of the civil rights era and when people were going through things and faced with so many different challenges from because of the color of their skin that they decided to fight, you know, fight those challenges with nonviolence and using sort of the law, you know, the law that, you know, was built to support, you know, to put one race above the other, use that law against itself. And so I was very proud of that. I looked at that and said, wow, now would I've done the same thing. I don't know. I honestly can't tell you whether I would have done the same thing or not. I'm a human being. I'm a man. I'm very much so, you know, I, you know, I have anger issues. You know, I don't like to be, you know, talk like that, you know, talk to like that by someone who's angry, you know, and, and you're white. You know, it, it definitely would come off as a racist, a racist threat, um, a racist filled rant. Um, so I don't know what I would have done. And I don't want to sit here and say what I think I would have done because I don't know. You know, I'm not in that position. But what I can tell you is I'm very proud of the people in this film. And if they ever, you know, if somebody ever get a chance to just congratulate them on the way they responded, they were very, you know, they're, they're role models. I saw on Twitter a lot of people, you know, they if they went to this place or they went to that place, they'd have got the business. And it's like, yeah, I'm sure he would have got the business. He could have got the business there. But that's not the point. 
the fact that they didn't respond and this didn't get out of control and the video went so viral it makes this man look bad his band has already come out denying him i'm sure he's got to deal with a lot of things in his own life meanwhile they get to be highly celebrated so folks pay attention to how you respond to these challenges when you are in public now not every situation is the same thing so i don't want you to go into the world thinking that but just pay attention to what happened here and how you can walk away with something um with a lesson um and until next time and until next time do say